The human brain is like an orchestra, where it is impossible to know a single part without all of the instruments playing. It must be seen as a whole, and like a fingerprint, a brain is unique to every individual. In an international project led by neuroscientists Dr. Randy McIntosh and Dr. Victor Gersa, the invention of the virtual brain was born out of the desire to know more about real human brains. The virtual brain is designed to play as the full orchestra, and by using scans, the virtual brain can create a simulation based on an individual's unique characteristics. You can observe connections and make changes. The Virtual Brain Project draws richness from every field of brain science to collect data from real brains to represent thousands of virtual brains under thousands of different scenarios simultaneously. The Virtual Brain provides a platform for different disciplines to work together in order to pave the way for further discovery. Since the virtual brain can simulate a person's unique brain communication pathways, anyone's brain can become the virtual brain. We can use it to understand disorders that affect brain function, such as epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, stroke, dementia, schizophrenia, and coma. Imagine the day when you can test different interventions like surgery and medication on the virtual brain and find the best way to help people heal faster. The virtual brain is a global community project where everyone from clinicians, scientists, teachers and programmers from around the world can contribute through the web. As more information is collected and added to the virtual brain, the more we can learn about the human brain. The possibilities are endless in the uses of this powerful tool. Can you think of a way the virtual brain can help you? Find out more at www.baycrest.org slash the virtual brain.